2 a.m. in the morning, but he couldn't help nodding off. He awakened to find the officer of the day standing before him. Remembering the penalty for falling asleep on duty, he kept his head bowed for another moment or two, then looked up reverently and said, Amen. <laughs> In Mark 13, first Sunday of Advent, keep awake. All our readings had something about Jesus's coming, so keep awake. Have any of you ever stayed up all night? Christ calls us and his disciples and the whole church to keep awake, to keep alert. Keeping awake is at the heart of Advent, a time of waiting and watching. New parents certainly know what it means to keep awake to be up in the middle of the night caring for a child. And there are many professions that require keeping awake through the night. Our paramedics, our firefighters, our police, military personnel. And don't forget the hospital night staff that must keep awake during the wee hours of the night. At some point, every person has cause to be awake through the night whether for work or play, for a child or an ailing loved one. Life doesn't always happen the way you planned it. Keep awake, be alert. <clears throat> the coming of Christmas creates in most of us a sense of both longing and urgency. We call ourselves to keep alert, keep awake, to work hard to get ready for this holiday that's coming as we stress over it. Advent calls us to prepare for something much bigger, much bigger than the yearly arrival of Christmas. Advent calls us to pay attention to the world around us, even as it is wrecked with suffering, violence, and hunger. The first Sunday of Advent begins as a Sunday of cosmic proportion, with the sun being dark and the stars falling from the heavens. Advent in all the readings today reminds us that our ancestors once called out for a savior and that we in the church wait for the return of one. We wait, we hope, knowing nothing other than to keep working keep watching and keep awake. In our war, world torn by pain and div division, we look all around us and we wonder how long, how long will the people in our own country and around the world have to live in fear in their communities, in their schools and in their own homes? How long will we live at odds with our neighbors and endure divisions even in our families? We wonder if things will ever be this way forever. But this season that we begin today, Advent, has a presence that calls us to look deeper. It whispers to us urgently in the dead of winter, keep awake but also it's a call of promise. There is hope. Things will not always be as they are. Something is coming that is even bigger than Christmas. The world still waits for justice. The world still waits for peace. The world still waits for God. God in his word provide the only stability in our unstable world. Months of planning go into a wedding, the birth of a baby, a career change, the purchase of a home. Do we place the same importance on preparing for Christ's return? The most important 
event in our life. We dare not postpone or our preparations because we do not know when his return will occur. The way to prepare is to study God's word, reading our Bibles, and live by its instructions each day. Like the disciples, we wait in darkness, knowing that we cannot know the Pacific. We can only stay ready for what we know is coming. Opportunity, victory, hope, and peace on earth. Advent whispers to us, the night is long and difficult, but the dawn is coming. And what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm.